It's an adventure. Come on. Oh. oh, nice. I got the fuel and I didn't die. <laughs>
terms of schematics. Is, oh, is that somebody else there? Or is that a bug? Like, flying around up here. Oh, that's actually like a giant insect. That's crazy. I wonder, so, you can use the harvesting tool, I guess, as a weapon. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully this thing's... Maybe I shouldn't mess with this thing. It might be, it might be aggressive. And if it is, I'm not really in a good position to defend myself. Let's find a place we can build a shipyard so we can get a ship going as soon as possible. We want to be able to fly around and see if we can try and find some, re some other resources and some hidden things. There's like, um, as I understand it, there are ruins and things in the game that you can find. Uh, wow, look at that. Uh, I guess I, I probably want something that's relatively open to be able to build a shipyard, but do I have to cut down the trees myself to make an opening? This grappling hook is a neat mechanic, too. Oh, oh, no! Oh. There we go. So not only can you use it to help you climb up different things, but I've seen uh, some trailer videos and stuff from this game that you might want to check out on the site. That, oh, what is this? Uh, that's odd. That thing's kind of ha hanging out in space there. Can I gather it? Oh, oh, no, get back here! Oh. All right. So, that didn't work. <laughs> there must be a way to interact with stuff in here. I have very limited tools initially. So, I have, uh... Gauntlet repair mode. What else do we have here? Gauntlet lift mode selected. And then... Forge scanner selected. I have no idea what the forge scanner is, but oh, uh, can I reel this crate in? Nope, I can reel myself to it. What's in the box? Ooh, more pants. Skyfarer's shorts. We don't need those. Uh, biography, Utopian, Zubin, piece three and piece one. Okay, I have no idea what these are for, so I'm going to grab them just in case they're useful at some point later. And look at the chunk of wood that's in here that's going to save me some gathering. Amazing. So, inventory or lockbox. Eh. Oh, I guess I should take that cord off there. You should check out some of the trailers, actually, on uh, on the developer site, because the, the people that have been making the game have gotten extremely adept at using these grapples. And why... Okay, so I really want to... I want to get whatever this is, but... Hold on. Can, what if I go into lift mode? Okay, oh! Uh, they've gotten extremely adept at using these grapple hooks, though, so they can, like swing around and, and use them to, to board other people's ships. Uh, object cannot be manipulated with the placement tool. Okay, so I guess I guess I have to gather it, but it's on the side of this hill, so as soon as I zap it, it's going to release the pearl. Or whatever this thing is. And then that's going to roll off down the hill on me. Unless I... Oh, oh, I cut the tree down. That wasn't quite part of the plan. No, oh, come back here. Oh, God that pearl thing I can't okay I can't grab it can I harvest it I got it yeah <laughs> salvaged fuel times eight. Oh, that's probably something I'm going to get more of then all right so with the gathering tool I guess you do have to zap everything you don't just pick it up but the physics of it rolling away make this thing make this a bit of an adventure come on oh, oh nice I got the fuel and I didn't die <laughs> oh 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 uh, maybe I shouldn't celebrate till I avoid falling off this cliff. I'm gonna do this. Okay, there we go. I got a little bit of a better grip up there. So I think you can kind of swing side to side with these things. Let's maybe try to get a little bit of motion going here. That might help me get up, get up the hill a little bit. <laughs> I really don't want to fall to my death is the, one of the first things that I do. Particularly not since I just found some fuel and I... I just made, like, a heroic effort to save that one that I just got. I've never seen a game that has this kind of a... This kind of a grapple... Grappling hook kind of use thing, which is r super cool. Alright. We got this thing down. This is gonna take... This is gonna take a lot of practice to get really good at it, but... Oh, there's a cave here. I guess, um... I'm gonna try and stay maybe up on the... On the higher side of this island if I can! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fall off of this thing. Just you wait. The physics in this are awesome. It makes the game really interesting, but it's also really dangerous. Uh, I don't know if these islands are procedurally generated or if it's something that they've actually crafted and then decided what things were going to look like and where they would sit. I do know they have an island creator tool that they, they had out on Steam, as I mentioned before. But I don't know if they used that specifically to actually build everything that's in here. 
All right, just like that, we have a place that we can now build our ship and that we can use to sail off into the cloudy yonder. It's going to say, like, wild blue yonder, but I guess it doesn't really apply. Select the ship schematic to load in the sh load into the shipyard. So we have an option for a dinghy, the sky ship. Oh, cool, look, it does like a, like a laser framework up above you that I guess you build your actual ship on. I mean, a dinghy is probably the more logical choice here, but I want to go all out and make a big ship. And maybe we can get a crew in here, too. If we set up a crew kind of thing, we might be able to get some people to come in and help. Um, okay, how do I build this now? So to craft it, I need beams, and I need decks. It looks like I need 571 beams. Click Edit to customize the shape of your ship. Edit. Whoa. Oh, so cool. Okay, so... So you can just, like, grab... You can change the way your ship looks before you ultimately build it. So I can make this ship longer if I wanted to. If I can... Yep, there we go. I can stretch out the front of it and make a longer ship. We can stretch out the back here. Make it a little bit longer backwards. Uh, I want to get the second level back there, too. Oh, this is so cool. So not only can you build yourself a ship, but you can fully design the way your ship is going to look. If I can figure out how to do this. Um, all right, so when I select the point... I get the option to move it. So I can move it... If I move it this way... Oh, okay, there we go. Now I get it. Okay. So you click the little slide points. You kind of want to make it a little bit more sleek in the sides. So let's pick this one and we'll go this way. And this one will go this way. This is really cool. You could probably spend a lot of time designing some really cool ship builds in here. And I could see very quickly that becoming one of the better parts of this game. Okay, is that... That's already at maximum height there. I can't move that one any higher. Okay. So, I don't know what this point here is. What is this one? I've picked it, but I can't I can't seem to manipulate it. I'm going to need to do a, lot, a little bit of studying and figure out exactly how the ship building works in this. Uh, I think I kind of, now that I, I built this here, I, I think maybe I want to try and keep the back deck open so I can put put some sort of like a cannon turret or something back there. We've got space in the front, we can put one. There's deck room for people to hang out. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this as my build for now. Uh, so I hit done, that gives me my blueprint at the top. Uh, let's rename this to, uh, I don't know. Cryptic Chaos, we'll call it. Why not? Alright, so we've got our Skyship plan all ready and set, so let's hit save, and that'll let me... T okay, so now the number of beams I'm going to need is increased, because I added some extra size to the ship. Uh, and I'm not sure if the decking increased much at all, so how do I do this? Do I put... Okay, alright, I get it. You just All you have to do is plug it in, it's going to do the building for me. I thought I'd actually have to pick up the individual pieces and stick it up there, but maybe for the the basic frame, it will just do that for me. How do I make beams? How do I make beams? How do I make beams? Alright. I'm going to have to get out of here, because I'm need. i going to have to figure out how to make beams. So, let's get out of this. Let's, let's, uh, it's already saved, so let's go like that. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't put anything up there yet. That's a really wacky shape. All I did was some really minor changes, but I could see how you could actually make this like a really crazy design kind of thing. So, alright, shipbuilding... The assembly station, I guess I already had... What is that? Used to construct ship parts and equipment. So let's see if I can put that down. It looks like the assembly station's already in the middle of that platform, but uh, maybe not. It looks... This looks the same. Uh, the object requires you to press and hold these. Okay. So we put that down. Let's go to craft. Okay, so we can make... Wow, flight stick, crew reviver, scavenger sky core, so awesome. Okay, so this is the all the pieces you can put on the outside of the ship. So once we get the general framework done, we can kind of expand out on it with things like panels and sails and everything to give us a really cool look that way. I really like the whole concept behind this game. I've been honestly, I've been following this. I think for probably 
feels like it, it's got to be more than six months now, maybe six or eight months. Around the same time I, I found uh, Astroneer was when I started looking at this one at the same time. Uh, and it just seems like such a neat concept to me. Not only because it you know it has that, that PvP element where you can fly around and play, and I kind of want to try that out. Uh, but just the idea of being able to build your own ship and design the way that it looks, and then go from there into... Uh, where are we here? And then go from there actually into like flying around and exploring and everything, taking your actual creation where you want to go. What I'm having trouble finding here now is where do I build... Where do I build those rail things that I need? I've been searching for other materials, and I haven't really found anything, unfortunately, so far. I need to remember how to... How do I go down? Oh, and there's actually somebody else that's on the island as well, and I can actually talk with them. That's cool. I need to get get myself up out of the hole here now, though. Oh, he's coming down, too. Now, i got to figure out how, how do I go about lowering myself. I know there is a way to do it. So in the meantime, I'm just going to do the Spider-Man ah. thing. Oh, apparently, you don't want to touch those. Ah. Uh oh. All right, this is maybe not the best position to be in. <laughs> Let's ask him. Just, do you know how to make beams? So we've got some crazy plant life down here. I don't know what the deal is with this. I wonder if we can harvest it. You know, I think one of the cooler aspects of this game is the physics that in, that's involved. But now the trick is going to be sort of... It, it also creates a unique challenge in the game because you're kind of... Every time you harvest something, you're sliding and it's rolling and everything's kind of going all over the place. I don't see any... What I haven't found so far are metal nodes. And I know you can find metal and th that might be what's needed to... Might be what's needed to make make beams... See what's down this way. Oh, oh! Just bashed myself on a rock. Oh, there's a hole there. What is this? Apparently, it's not something you zap. Or maybe it's like the leftover ruin. Hey, there's another player here. <laughs> I love this grappling hook. This is such a cool way to get around. Okay, maybe there's something else. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. So, it's not the repair I want. Get the lift mode. Object cannot be mani manipulated with the tool. So, I mean, I think we got a harvest. I mean, it, it looks like this is kind of the key to everything. Haha. <laughs> Between the two of us, we can chop a lot of wood. So this is the tricky part of being in an alpha. We don't really know exactly what we're, what's expected of us or what we're supposed to do. Oh, I can see metal up there. I think that's metal. Uh, it's too high up for me to reach it so far, though. Let's see if we can... Oh, wow, I can really jump. Go me. And you can even jump on, on when you hit a slope. That's handy. Come on! Ah, the lag. I'm starting to get lag. <laughs> was doing really good likewise, but now I'm starting to get a little bit. Okay, I think I see a rock note, or a, a metal note up there. So I'm going to try and get up there with a grappling hook and see if we can get close enough to zap it. Because I feel like we're going to need, we're going to need metal for beams. I think that's, I think that's, I think that's what I'm missing here. All right, I think we're getting up close enough to a metal node now. We can actually harvest it. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when I zap this. If it falls, I'm going to be really disappointed. Because this thing's hanging, like, underneath. This is crazy. 
I'm blowing it to pieces, but I don't I don't think I'm getting any out of it. I did something to blow it apart, but all the pieces fell below. And I don't think that was terribly useful. Swinging around like Spider-Man sure is fun, though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you don't want to swing too hard into the rocks. Oh, my goodness. Let's try and get a little bit closer to this metal over here. In case range is a factor in collecting it. We got up close to it here. Let's see what we can gather. Oh. This is going to be tough. I'm swinging all over the place. All right, hopefully we're gathering it. It's not it's not showing me that I'm collecting it the same way as it does with the wood and the fuel where it would tell me what I've collected, but it did get metal before, so hopefully Oh, I salvaged copper. All right, maybe maybe the trick here is I have to be close enough to it, and I'm only getting it when I swing near enough. So let's try and drop and grapple quickly and see if we can get in close to it. Okay. I hope this is close enough. So I got copper off this one. That's interesting. Oh, there's like some weird, weird triangle in here. Little pyramid. Oh, I blasted that one. Okay, so it didn't tell me I was getting any more pieces out of it. But what did we get there? So we got 150 copper out of that one. That's good. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Apparently we can attack each other. And somebody has decided that I'm not to be trusted. <laughs> Random revival chamber or nearby revival chamber. I guess I want to go to... Nearby revival chamber. Now, did they get all my stuff? Oh my goodness, they got everything I collected. Well, that stinks. Alright, so ironically, I've been hunting around trying to find iron that I could use to repair my... my shipyard. However, I can actually make a shipyard out of... Uh, out of lead, just based on the lead that I collected. So rather than going and trying to repair that one I'd already started, I'm just going to start a whole new one. Uh, I do know that I need something like 250, uh, 250 lumber in order to build the ship. I've got a good start on some metal that we can use to build the uh, build the beams that will give us the basis of the ship also, so we can get a good framework going. And then I think we'll finally be on our way to getting a ship that's going to be worthy of flying around. Uh, the crew person that I did join up with, I, I totally lost track of him. I'm not sure where he went. Uh, or if he's even still in the game. He might have logged out. Uh, but uh, It took a little bit of hunting around to try to find what I needed. And to figure out what I was doing in the game. Uh, the initial instructions, because it's just an alpha, were really uh, really slim. Just more about like uh, what controls are and how they work. Uh, so I think uh, we can get a good ship yard here. This is closer to resources than where I had originally built, too. So it's probably a better option anyway. Uh, and then that will give me... Something we can do to, to build a little bit of a ship we can fly around with. The one that I chose to build is actually really big in the, in the scope of things. I've given them only one person, I could probably do, make do with a dinghy. I'm still hoping that I can get a crew that will come along and we can do uh, a little bit of a um, little more multiplayer gaming here. So we've got that there. Ah, perfect. Okay, I'm not going to put down the other piece until I'm ready to use it because I don't want to waste it. Uh, let's get in here and see if, uh, see if the plans I saved for. Cryptic Chaos will still be in here. It is amazing. Okay, so in order to build this, I need 250 lum lumber for decks. We need uh, 676 lumber or er, metal here for for beams. So we're going to use lead for that now. I'm not sure what these other slots here will con consist of. Let's craft this thing, and this this should give us the basic framework that we'll have. Looks like it's going to take two minutes for it to craft the total. I don't think I have to stay in the menu for that. Hopefully not. Oh, cool. It's like assembling it above my head. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it a little bit farther here and get a view at it. So this will give us a general framework for our ship. And then we'll have to we'll have to equip it with different things. So we can do like a, a crew reviver on it. So if we die, then we have the ability to respawn on it. Uh, we can do like sails and engines so we can get around. 
And there's a you know, different weapons and stuff I think you can put on the deck and what have you as well. And like I think there's something that's like a cannon or like a ballista kind of thing. Uh, which would be cool to have later on, because obviously if you're going to be fighting against other ships, you're going to have ways to defend yourself. But it's not something I, don't, I think I have the plans to just yet. Oh, look at it all coming into play. This is going to be a heavy ship, unfortunately, because I made it out of lead. I'd rather made it out of something like a, a copper or iron, but uh, we just didn't have access to those. Uh, I'm going to keep harvesting materials while that's building. Uh, actually, this is going to need to switch to this mode. Oh, I can't gather that. What am I doing? Uh, because we are going to need to try and put some sides and things on this ship. I need to figure out what I'm going to need for a control helm, actually. <laughs> Look at it. So we're going to have initial decks, so that's good. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, I probably am not going to need to have to put sides on it to any great degree right off the bat, because I think that would just consume a whole lot of extra time. Let's get our little ship building thing here for the extra pieces we're going to want to build on this. There we go. So, what else do we need here? So, panels that go on the side of it. I mean, that's... I'm going to call that just extra stuff for now. So, I think we need a sky core. That's an anti-gravity unit that lets us fly around. So, I'm going to need wood for that, and we're going to need some more metals. Uh, so, let's go find uh, some wood, which is easy enough to get. And then, in addition to that uh, sky core thing, we're going to need um, some sort of control mechanism to steer it. And then we're also going to need something to give us propulsion. So either engines or a sail or a combination of the two. Alright, I've got a ch good chunk of wood now. That should give us enough, I think, to build the sky core. Yeah, we're all set that way. Wow, 530. I've got more than enough. I'm going to use some copper here for the generator. And we'll craft that. So that'll give us a, a generator that we can put in the ship. Now, I think after it crafts, I have to actually take it and put it in the ship. So, let's see what happens. I, I think it'll keep going even even after I get... Oh, there it is there. Okay, so let's grab, get the tool that's going to let us grab it so that if it falls... Yep, it does. All right, so we've got it. We've got it grabbed. Oh, I don't want to take that plate down. Ah. Okay. So we'll grab this thing. And I guess we can stick it right inside there. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got our anti-grav unit. I've got it stuck on the roof in there, so hopefully that'll, I don't know, give it a little extra protection because it'll be harder to shoot at. Um, we're going to need a helm because that's going to be what gets us around. So we need wood for this, and then mechanical internals, and then a flight stick. Yes, yes, yes. We've got something to steer our ship. Uh, next, we're going to need a way to get around. A small storage crate would probably be handy, too. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so I guess if we we take this and just... Uh, we'll stick it up there for now, and then I can move it afterwards, I think. Yeah, I can. Okay, good. So we can move it later and actually get into a better position where we want it. Um, what else can we make in here? So st a small storage crate. That's going to take like 100 wood and 25 metal. Let's, let's build this because I think it's going to be important to have a way to store our materials. And then for the sail, I guess we're going to need a general sail. Let's get out of here. Pick up the storage crate. That can go up here. It'll probably just fall on the deck. Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's see now. The sail. Okay, so for, I guess we have to build a mast. Now, this is going to be the trick. Not enough space to craft sail. Oh. Um, okay, so I don't know what's... Okay, I'm not sure what the deal is here. Maybe it stands up too high and it will get in the way. Can I move this thing? Object cannot be manipulated with the placement tool. Now, wouldn't that just figure? Yes! Okay, I better get my grabbing tool ready in case this thing goes for a ride. Ah, look at it. Oh, I, yeah, I see why it needed space. All right, so we have a little sail. That's awesome. Finish building, finish building. All right, I got a hold of it. It's not rolling away on me. Uh, okay, this is a challenge. Ta-da! Nice! Okay, so we could put some extra side panels and stuff on my ship, I guess. Uh, I wish I had... I wish I had not put this frame lower right here. I can't really walk through there, so I've kind of created like a strange little secondary deck here that you can't even get onto. 
with any reliability. So the control deck is down bottom here, but I can't really get reliably onto my second deck. Come on, there we go. Alright, I want to take this thing for a spin. We've kind of been fussing around a lot here with just getting general supplies and stuff. Ship does not have enough lift to fly. Add more Atlas cores. Oh boy. Alright, I figured out what the Forge Scanner's for, so gain 30 knowledge. There's these little, these little, I don't know what to call them, like, uh, nodes or something? And you can build up knowledge by scanning these things. So that's very cool. I don't know if, does this just keep going? How do I turn it off? Okay, there we go. It's off. You've already gained knowledge from this, from scanning this. Okay, so we don't have to scan more than one, more than once. But I did see another one over here that I didn't realize what you had to do with it. So, let's jump over here if I can get over there alive. And we'll scan the one that I saw over here too. And hopefully, maybe that knowledge will let me learn some additional. Oh, ouch! Some additional plans, and we can even do something different with our ship. That would be amazing. <laughs> Rough landing. <laughs> Got to work on those. All right. So the other, uh, the other little forge thing that I saw is over here. I don't know if there's going to be more of these on this island or not. I think in all the searching around I've done, I've only seen two of them. Uh, but definitely worth grabbing these when I come across them. If I can figure out how. There we go. Another thirty knowledge gauge. Ancient database contains fragments and information on Saborian technology. Saborian technology. I don't even know what that is. But we do have some knowledge now. So if we go to our knowledge now, we've got 60. Learn schematics to open up pathways to create your own schematics using accumulated knowledge. So, I mean, I don't know where you learn the schematics. We'll have to figure that out, I guess. It's funny, we can unlearn things. Well, I'm not sure why I would want to do that. Well, it took a lot of plotting around, but I think we finally have our ship in a position where we can sail it. Uh, I did uh, even try putting on some little side pieces. They look terrible <laughs> because I've only got a couple on here. And I was just kind of experimenting with how it works. Uh, I did create something up here so that we can uh, respawn on the ship if we die. So I'm just registering myself to that so that we're set up that way. Uh, I think if we take control here now, we can get the ship underway. Now, I'm not sure if I have to unfurl the sails here for this to work. So we're going to try going up top here just to double check. It's a little... Oh my goodness, that's uh, that's a little strange bug there. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward getting up on top of here right now, because you can't put, like, stairs or anything, but... Alright, so we can uh, E to unfurl. I ended up putting two sails on the top. I'm not sure if this is going to end up messing it up, or whether it'll just give me more drive power. I'm kind of hoping it'll give me more drive power. We'll see what this looks like when we get it underway. So, that's so, that's so cool. All right, we have sails unfurled. I think I've cleared away enough trees. Let's see if we can finally get this ship underway. Please, please, please tell me this works. I can't tell if I'm actually going up or we're just tilting again. I think we're free. We're going up. We're up. <laughs> we're up and away. All right, I'm gonna, now that I've got this thing up above the tree line, let's try to look. I can't even tell what I'm doing here. Just take a quick peek around to make sure that everything's ship shape. It's vaguely shaped like a ship, anyway. <laughs> All right, so we do have uh, we do have some lift. We have some propulsion. We got finally got clear of that tree line. It looks like the ship might still be going upwards. I'll have to be a little bit careful about that. It might uh, might tend to drift a little bit when we're up here. I am going to need to put more more structure on the ship here, ultimately too, because this is just this is very bare bones. If I ever get, if I get attacked by anybody, they're going to blast me to the sky in no time. I have no weapons, I have no crew, <laughs> and I have no sides to my ship either, so um, that's probably, I'm thinking, something that's going to be important. Let's set sail through the skies, though, and see if we can navigate over to another island and try to find something cool. So, as I understand it from uh, sort of watching the game development, I think this big fog wall that's in front of me is sort of sort of a natural barrier that's in place in the game so that if, you're, if you don't have a ship that's tough enough, you can't go through it. Uh, so I don't want to mess around with that too much, but let's go over here and we'll see if we can get to the islands that are over this way. With any luck, we'll find some more technology we can build and some other things we can scan. <laughs> Navigating this is going to be neat. So I want to see if it's good. Does this have reverse stick? I can't even tell. All right, it looks like it might. So when I pull back on the stick, it's going to go up. Let's take a look around make sure we're moving. 
We are moving. We're underway finally with my big crazy vessel. This took me a really long time to build, sadly. That's one of those things where I think when if you get a crew right off the bat is, is your best course of action because you're going to get a chance to, uh, to build your ship sooner uh, rather than later. Uh, I took a really long time building my ship, and that, uh, that is really not ideal, I don't think. Let's try to get this thing up a little bit higher. It's not super responsive. Uh, I think that might be in part because I built such a heavy ship. Let's get over to an island here and see what we can get. Now, much like any other ship, if you put it in pilot mode and get it moving, it looks like you can just release the controls and it'll keep going the direction you set it. Because I had the throttle set on full, so I'm hoping hoping this will keep moving forward. Oh, actually, I'm getting a little bit of lag. This may not be the best idea. I might fall right off the ship. But I want to be able to see as we travel. Like, check out that. That's really cool. That was the island that I spent some of my the first of my time on, just hunting around, getting materials to build this little ship we made. It's going very slowly. Um, I, I made it really heavy. I think the type of materials you build it out of might have an impact on the weight of the ship and then how how fast it is and how nimble. Uh, I also didn't pick a really tiny ship for my first attempt. I was hoping that this would be a, a, a little bit better for having a crew on, but I think I've actually designed... You know, when I made the, the frame changes to it, I kind of blocked off the second level and made it hard to work with, so... Uh, it's going to need a, a little bit of redesign, I think, if we're going to continue to play forward. But this being just the alpha playtest, uh, I think what will happen is um, when we ultimately start playing the game, we'll have to actually build a whole new ship anyway. <laughs>